so much. And welcome back to Beat the Chasers. Can our next player beat all six? Well, the beast skipped pudding last night, so stranger things have happened. <laughs> next up to try and beat the Chasers is Stephen from Dorset. <laughs> Oh, definitely a quizzer. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Whereabouts in Dorset? West Dorset, Bearminster. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm retired. I used to be an antiques dealer. Oh, most impressive thing you've come across and you thought, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. <laughs> This is something big. It does happen very occasionally. It's happened to me a couple of times. Has it? Yeah. Maybe you've yeah. bought something, a car boot sale for like 10 quid, no, no, and it's no. ended up like 20 million. No, no, no. No, no I've touched it to old boys. I've, I've bought the odd thing at an auction for a few hundred, and it sold for quite a few thousands. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And have you ever got hold of anything and thought to yourself, this is it, and it's been a dud? Oh, yeah. Have you? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's more frequent. I tell you, I remember it was a long time ago, but I was at an auction in a village hall and I wasn't really concentrating. And I knew my lot was coming up and I, I stopped chatting and bid. And I didn't realise that the auctioneer had put in an extra lot that wasn't in the catalogue. <laughs> so when he then moved on to the next lot, which was what I was intending to bid on, I was left wondering what on earth I'd just bought. And <laughs> it turned out to be a stuffed pigeon. <laughs> Did you sell it at a profit? No, I'd put it straight into another auction, get rid of it as quick as I could. Yeah, good for you, good for you. If you win some money tonight, what are you going to do with it? What I'd like to do is I'd like to buy a, a really good off-road mobility scooter. Yeah. Something that will get me out into the woods and the meadows so I can enjoy the countryside like yeah, I used to. absolutely. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Let's get you out and about. And uh, you'll need money for that and money to take on this little lot. Multiple choice questions. Each correct answer worth £1,000. Please, Stephen, don't get the first one wrong. OK, here we go. Let's play. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Here comes your first question. Which of these phrases means to do something that will eventually bring about a particular result? A. Mow the lawn. B. Sow the seeds. C. Grow the flowers. Sow the seeds. Sow the seeds, yeah. Is that the right answer? Of course it is. Yeah. Right on. Thousand pounds. We're playing the chaser, that's good. Here comes your next question. Let's have a look. The blue MSC label on packets indicates sustainable production of what food? Is it A, seafood, B, confectionery, or C, fruit? I'm going to guess at seafood. Yeah, I think it's marine something marine, conservation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Is that the right answer? <laughs> Two grand. And here's the next question. Which rock drummer's parents were reportedly both spies, his mother for Britain and his father for the USA? I love stuff like this. Is it A, Keith Moon? <laughs> Is it B, Ringo Starr? Or is it C, Stuart Copeland? Again, I don't know, but I guess it's Stuart Copeland. Stuart He's American. Co yeah, the police, yeah. Stuart Copeland, is that the right answer? Yeah, Stuart Copeland, three grand. OK, Cinnamon. I can't speak for his mum, who's presumably the British part of that, but his dad was Miles Copeland, who was very, very big in the CIA. Wow, OK. Here's your next question. Three grand, we're doing all right. In American football, what words can come before guard and tackle in four playing positions? Is it A, left and right, B, up and down, C, front and back? You do find them, don't you? Um, oh, wouldn't I'm, I'm going to say left and right. I you say left and right? No idea. OK. Is that the right answer? Oh, very good. Four down. That's got a bit of I don't do American sports, no, no. really, no. and I'd have gone C, so I'd have no. got that wrong. OK, well, look, we're almost there. A full house of questions. I wish you luck, Stephen. Here you go. Here's the next one. Before becoming famous, which Bond actor used to perform a fire-eating act in a circus? Is it A, Roger Moore, 
B, Daniel Craig, or C, Pierce Brosnan? I'm going to guess a Pierce Brosnan. You're saying Pierce Brosnan? For five grand, is that the right answer? Yes. That's four lucky guesses. Really? Now, there's a super offer on its way. Right. You can take on all six chasers if you want. Stephen, time to face the chasers. <laughs> Let's crash on with the offers, shall we? Yeah. Put the time on the clocks. There we go. If you want to play for the five grand that you got in the cash builder, you will take on two chasers automatically, and those two chasers are... It is the menace in the cinema. Time, please, menace. Stephen, we want 38 seconds on our clock. OK, 22 second time advantage for five grand. Third chaser, who's that? Vixen. Time and money, please. We want 42 seconds on our clock to play for £25,000. <laughs> Not bad, that. 18 second time advantage. Who's the fourth chaser, please? OK, Beastie. We want 46 seconds on our clock. Oh. But you'll be playing for £50,000. <laughs> OK, 14 second time advantage. Fifth chaser, who is it? Super nerd. We'll have 50 seconds on our clock, and it gives me great pleasure to offer you £100,000. <laughs> which only leaves the Dark Destroyer for a super offer. No time advantage, of course. No time advantage. Right. Both off 60. Go ahead. Hello, Stephen. Here it is. The offer of a lifetime. A half a million pounds. <laughs> oh, dear. What do you think? It's all about the time, Bradley. Oh, it's all about the time. It's all yeah. about the time. And I don't want to disappoint the audience, but um, I've, I've got to take on three, I think, for 42 seconds. Are you here with anyone at the moment? Yeah, I'm aware. All right, OK. Right. Who's up there, Lucy? Lucy? Yeah. Hello, Lucy. So, Stephen said he didn't want to disappoint. I don't think he's disappointed anyone at all. Well, that's a lot of money, Bradley. 25 grand. That's a lot of money. Big money, Lucy. You happy with that? Yeah. OK. I think 18 seconds and 25 grand against three is brilliant. You happy with that, Stephen? I'm very happy with that. I wish you luck. Let's see if you can. Thank Beat you. those chasers. Good luck. <laughs> OK, here we go. You know how it works, Stephen. You ready? Yeah. Stephen, your clock starts counting down now. At the Olympics, J-A-M is the code for what country? Jamaica. Correct. Chasers, in what TV soap is there a market on Bridge Street? Paul. EastEnders. Correct. Stephen, what part of a frog is a popular dish in France? Legs. Correct. Chasers, what Patrick Swayze film became a West End musical? Paul. Dirty Dancing. Ghost. George V served in which of the armed forces? Dara. Navy. Correct. Stephen, what type of creature is a whorefinch? A bird. Correct. Chasers, athlete Goldie Sayers was a star. Paul. Javelin. Correct. Stephen, who directed the film Blue Jasmine? Pass. Woody Allen. The novel Don Quixote was first written in what language? Spanish. Correct. Chasers, the word Damascene refers to the... Dara. Damascus. St Paul. Nat King Cole began his career as a player of what instrument? Paul. Piano. Correct. Stephen, what company makes the breakfast cereal Frosties? Uh, Kellogg's. Correct. Chasers, the German parliament was based in what city for most of the 90s? Paul. Berlin. Bonn. What sport is the subject of the magazine Peloton? Dara. Cycling. Correct. Stephen, what London museum houses the Sutton Who treasure? Um, Victorian Albert. British Museum. What's the world's largest travel guide publisher? Pass. Lonely Planet. Who co-wrote Do They Know It's Christmas with Bob Geldof? I'm not sure. Correct. Chasers, in a lift, what does the button Mark G Ooh. stand for? Ground. Out of time! <laughs> 22 seconds as well. Brilliant! But I've got to say, perfect storm, brilliant, absolutely the right choice. Uh, Vixen? 
Yeah, you made the right call with the offer. You didn't overstretch yourself. You were in the zone and putting in a great performance with your attitude there. That's it. OK, Lucy, yep. well, how are you feeling? You're happy? Very, very proud. Oh, well I done. bet, I bet. Absolutely brilliant job. Honestly, Stephen, congratulations. Thank you very much. 25 grand. Thank you. You've beaten the chasers. Well done, mate. Well done, Stephen. Very well deserved. I feel slightly hustled. <laughs>